Hey guys, what's going on? James Ford Drive here. So for today, we're going to be working on my motorhome. Um, I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been really, really busy. Actually, in this video, I'll show you what I've been working on. Um, but uh, that won't be the subject of the video. The subject of the video will be replacing battery terminals. And these battery terminals are those crimp style. And I've had a lot of people over the years ask me how I go about replacing them. Because if you cut them, if you cut the crimp off, then the battery cables are too short and then you can't use them. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I get the crimp off of those battery terminals and replace the terminal with a brand new um, unit that will connect and work really good. So without further ado, let's hop into today's video. Alright guys, so like I said, I haven't been able to post a video in quite a long time. It's because I've been working on something. I've been building a building, a shop, a storage shed, whatever you want to call it. And uh, here it is. There's my little, it's been taking up all my time. I've been working on it for about a month and a half. Uh, those of you that don't know me personally know that I'm not really a carpenter. I used to do construction a really long time ago, but I haven't, I haven't done this kind of stuff in a really long time. And even when I worked on a construction crew, I kind of was just, the hands you know I just cut things or whatever I wasn't actually the builder that was building stuff so uh, this has been a huge undertaking for me I've learned a lot I've had uh, my dad come by and help me build a lot of it so kudos and shout out to him my dad um, but it's a pretty cool little building I feel like showing it off in this video pretty good 16 on center uh, the slab is 10 by 10 three and a half to four inch thick slab I hand mixed this slab with concrete bags and I floated it myself first time doing that my concrete mixer broke halfway into my pour so I had to pour or so I had to mix a lot of it by hand um, but yeah 16 on center uh, 10 12 pitch roof uh, the it's 10 by 10 and uh, you got a two foot overhang on the outside so something I'm super proud of I've been working on a lot and that's why I haven't posted any videos on it so uh, let's get over to the subject of the video. This big sucker. This is a 2002 Winnebago. Uh, it's a 22 footer. Um, it's got a 2015 remodel on it. So the exterior is 2015. With the chassis and everything's 2002. I want to do a video on this. I'll actually do a video on this. Uh, doing a full re review and, and, and talk about the whole thing. But I haven't done that. As a matter of fact, I might do that after I make this video. Um, but the problem that we're having is these uh, battery terminals are torn up. So we're going to use some bias grips and we're going to move this thing because I'm not working on it out here. Okay, so got that on there. Let's see if this thing will start. She started right it up. It's good. This is the crimp that I'm talking about. Um, if you just cut this, there won't be enough cable so that when you get your new one and you put it on there, it may not reach. That's short all over the place. Now that one's broken. That one's split and it won't come off. Probably put this battery on a charger just to make sure that's fully charged. Heating off. See what we're working with here. All right, so I got a cutoff wheel. Uh, this is a little one. I may, I don't know. It may work. It may not work. I may put a bigger one on there. And then we got some safety glasses. I know goggles, whatever. I know it looks stupid, goofy, whatever. I don't know about y'all, but I use my eyes to make me money. So we're gonna cut it on the side. And let's feel it go through. Okay. And then same thing on the other side. There we go. 
so that gets that off. We're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut that right there. These are 11, 11 millimeter. And we'll drop it where we can't reach it, and then we'll have to get a magnet to pull that out. That up. See if we can fit all that. And that, to some degree, is basically what you got. Now we're going to do the negative. Myself. That's great. You know, are you really doing a project? You don't uh, stab yourself at least once. Good lord, I stabbed myself. Good. All right, so this is how we're gonna paint the bolts. I just stick them in a cardboard box and then I spray paint them. Here's a light pack if you want to dry your spray painted parts quicker. I actually learned about this from someone online. Take your parts, put them in the box, close the box. Close the box, take a heater, blow dryer, whatever, stick in the box. Now you gotta have a vent hole on this other side, but this box will very quickly get up to about 170 to 180 degrees and you will cook and bake that spray paint on those parts in a matter of five minutes maybe 10 minutes the only problem is the parts are really hot obviously so you gotta let them cool down but it's significantly faster than letting it uh, air dry when the sun's not out and it's nice and dry Parts are really hot, but the paint's nice and dry. Cool. These are really hot. <laughs> Let's see if we can get 
a common problem with these uh, universal battery terminals. So what I like to do, I'll get a big screwdriver, put it in there, and pry it open. You, you don't need to kill them, you, you know, it's just, it's just lag. <laughs> not thinking, I was thinking about something else. Not thinking about what I'm doing, I'm thinking about a thousand other things. friends is how you replace crimp style battery terminals and clean your battery up and it'll be good for a long time hopefully success Fourteen point three volts. That's pretty good. I think this battery was a tad bit discharged, so pretty good. All right, guys. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching me work on my motorhome. Uh, this is a very short, simple, to the point. You know, is it really that informative? Nah, maybe not. We didn't really do anything revolutionary here, but when you're working with those crimp style terminals, sometimes they can be a pain in the ass. People don't know what to do on them. And as you can notice, the cables are pretty short. So if you go lopping them off, it makes it really hard to replace them. So by cutting them and doing what we did, cutting the ears off and then peeling them off, you save a lot of the terminal wire and uh, it makes fixing these significantly easier so uh, I hope this was a wealth of knowledge to somebody out there um, if you like this type of video and you want to see more content like this in the future be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching